Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of Tower of God on Season 2 on Episode 12 or or Tower of God or Turn the Prince or Oji no Kikan, you know? I think that's what it is. But other than that, like, um, this episode right here, well, looks like to me, despite what happened here and there, it looks like things are starting to turn around. Things are starting to be a little strange for the time being. If anything else, let's just get this started. Um, we have to it that... Kun's allies or something, or friends, or whatever one you want to call them, says, like, one of the victims is part of, like, um, the freaking Hand of Ireland attack, you know, whatsoever. The crocodile dude, which I forgot his name, sorry, um, the one that we saw in season one, gets news about Kun's death, you know, which he believes is just a scam or just a lie, you know. And Bomb, on the other hand, or Viola, is very upset about what's happening here and there, etc. Who knows, um... As the episode continues on in its own way, we have to it that, like, um, the bunny girl, whatever the freaking heck she is, I don't even remember her name, all I know is she's the freaking cute, red cube user, bunny girl, was actually trying to make an offer for, like, um, for two of Kun's teammates, you know? Unfortunately, they're about, it looks like they're about to fight, you know, but, but... Yor, or like, or Bam, or Viola ends up stopping the fight and t and tells her that we should let them join us. I'm not gonna let Kun's teammate get killed right now. You either listen to me right now because it's my order, you know. And Bam had a serious expression saying, "You don't listen. I'm ready to freaking kill you right here and now," you know. And we have to it that like um the bunny girl says, "Fine, I'll agree to it." Hey, how about you two join my team? They were very hesitant, not wanting to do so. But Bond gives a secret message to them saying that, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not your enemy, please believe me. Kun, I'm pretty sure he's still alive out there, you know? Which apparently he is alive, thanks to Wagnon following Viola and managing to rescue him from the rubble. He ends up asking some questions after waking up, blah, blah, blah. And then he ends up having to, like, um, talk with them for a bit and needs to get his, his head straight, you know? And after, after like, um taking them to his base after all even though he doesn't like the idea and want to team up with like viola's friends because he dropped his guard before he just he might get betrayed again you know and i don't blame him for that getting betrayed is a very ugly thing that could ever happen to anybody you know and it's gonna develop a lot of trust issues not much is to be said and we have to it that he goes back to his base and finds out one of the freaking like a mem one of the, one of his teammates is dead while one of them is injured and was able to be saved. But there's a message left by Fug, and I mean F U G Fug. Like they left a bloody message saying that this Fug is Fug, Fug, which means they're saying we did this, ha ha ha, whatever. And eventually, like um, Kun ends up going outside for a bit after telling them about Dan's condition and trying to figure out what's going on. He realizes that. Viola could be bomb, but who knows? He's trying to get his head straight, and then like um, Hyun or the red, the, the long, the the eye patch, red, long hair, red hair girl ends up confirming about about Viola and to ask him to like team up with Viola's teammates and help him out at the workshop battle, you know, etc. I don't know. One thing's for certain is that like um, one thing's for certain is that like um. That, that eventually before this conversation could take any further, you know, etc. With like um Kun being very hostile towards the eye patch red hair girl, red hair girl Hyun or something like that. Sorry, it's just like there's so many characters in this series that I don't even remember because they're just like um, what you mean call it um, they're just freaking like them all over the place or something like that. But other than that, whatever. Other than that, like um. Other than that, um, we have to it that, like, um, Dan wants to, like, um, participate with Kun in the upcoming, like, um, workshop battle. We get to know that he actually used to have a team before, only for them to be killed by strong people, and that's the reason why he was hesitant to join up with Kun. But after that, he realizes that his legs wasn't meant for running, I don't know, whatever the situation is, but all I know is, is, like, um, he decides to join up with Kun and decides to, f and decides to fight with him, you know? And... He's saying he's leaving his pathetic self behind and is going to become a new a new person, you know? So I go like, oh, that's pretty cool. Even though, like, his legs are injured, he may not be able to run as he used to anymore. I thought freaking Rachel or Rahel, like, freaking cut them off or something. That cut one of them off or something. Or one of them had to be amputated. I don't know. One thing's for certain is that, like, um, he's... 
he's ready to like move forward and not give up, you know? Eventually, Kun tells the red, the eyepatch red-haired long girl, says, I accept your offer, you know? I'll team up with these guys and enter the workshop bo- workshop battle and we'll win, etc., you know? That's it. So, looks like to me, things are starting to like, um... Be a little, like, um, hectic for now, whatsoever. So, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure you guys are a little confused of what I just gave you. And I'll put it in simple words, knowing that we're at the end anyway. Viole ends up teaming with, like, um, two of Kun's teammates that that, su- that survived. And that he ordered the, the bunny girl, the red Q bunny girl user to let them join us. Or so help me, I'll kill you in a threatening manner. He therefore sent a secret message to one of Kun, to Ran, I believe. I think that's his name. Ran ends up telling him, I'm not your enemy. Please believe me. I'm pretty sure Kun is alive. And therefore, the guy says, fine, I'll join up with you. And then we get to see Kun rescued by Viola's allies. After much talking and interrogating, they decide to go to his base. And they end up finding Dan alive, just like very badly injured. As for the other guy that looks like a bird or something like that, I'm afraid he's dead. But yeah. So we have to it that like um, the red hair patch girl tells Kun everything after he went outside. They get they get he gets very hostile, but he ends up t- and after Kun talking with Dan decides to take up the take up the red patch Hyun Hyung or Pat eye patch red hair girl's offer and decides to participate with like um, the workshop battle with Kun with I mean with Viola's teammates. You know, so looks like to me. We don't know when the workshop battles begin, but I'm pretty sure this is going to continue on into the next <laughs> season of anime, which is coming up very soon, honestly. So, yeah, looking forward to that to see how, see how that goes. So, until then, people, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye.